Alright, we're ready for our third video on naming simple ionic compounds. Once again, simple ionic compounds, what I'm calling simple ionic compounds, or our basic salts, which is our first two columns in the periodic table, which is the al alkali metals and alkaline earth metals, and some nonmetals over here. Okay, that's simple ionic compounds. Now, in the first three videos, we went over how to uh, name chlorine, how to write the formula and naming it. Uh, we explained no prefixes are used, so fix ID is acceptable. Uh, we also went over in the second video how to name uh, potassium oxide and how to write its formula. We went over how to name magnesium sulfide and how to write its formula. So if you want to see those, check out those two videos. Alright, in this third video we're going to go over how to uh, name and write the formula for barium and nitrogen if they came together and made an ionic compound. Well, first thing we need to do is we need to get some ions. Okay, Barium is in the second column. It's way down here. Ba, second column. So that's Ba plus 2. So we write down Ba plus 2. And nitrogen, the letter N, is in column 15, which has a negative 3 charge. So there's negative 3. Okay, now after that, ignore the plus and minus signs. Now, luckily for us, the numbers are totally different. So this might be easier for y'all to see. Now, just in case we can't read that, that was a 2 that was, that was there. Now, what happens is the 2 will come down behind the N. The 3 will come down behind BA. And our formula will be BA3N2. And that is our ionic formula for barium and nitrogen coming together. Now let's name the compound. You just name the metal, which is, that's great. So that's just barium. B-A-R-I-U-M. And now nitrogen. Hmm. What is nitrogen? Well, find the middle of the word. You got N-I-T-R-O-G-E-N. Find the middle of the word. Here's the first letter on each end. Here's the second letter on each end, third letter on each end, and the fourth letter of each end. So the middle is between the R and the O. So I'm going to write that down. N-I-T-R and N-I-T-R-O. I'm going to take off a letter, N-I-T, and I'm going to take off, oh, excuse me, I'm going to add a letter down here. I'm going to add I-D-E to these, and I'm going to pick the one that sounds the best. Now, not the funniest or anything. Now, G I D <laughs> is never picked. Uh, two vowels that are together. Uh, I can't think of a time that they're picked unless it's like tri iodide or something like that. So, that's a no. So, really, you're just left with these two up here now. So, you have uh, nitide. That sounds pretty cute. But here you have nitride. Well, if you've done any of the problems that you were asked to do in class and in your book, then you would know to pick nitride. So this one's name is barium nitride. And that's it. Just remember, prefixes are not used. That's the mono or any of that stuff. Not used at all. Okay. But the suffix is acceptable. We need it. Okay. Now, this concludes naming simple ionic compounds, and our next set of, and series of videos will be covering uh, metallic compounds. So, hope this helps. Good night.